Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be something that you guys have been talking about quite a bit lately on my comment section and it is being more minimalistic when it comes to your wardrobe. I think it's easier to get dressed in the morning when you don't have a ton of things and it also saves money because you aren't constantly shopping, falling into the trends. You are more so taking your classic items and making them in style, making them trendy yourself. These are some items that I have challenged myself with creating tons of different outfits with just these items. Um, and obviously some accessories. So I'm gonna go over these items with you really quickly. And these are just the ones I own, but obviously you might have your own variation of them. Before you go out and buy anything like this, I would definitely look in your closet first to see what you have. So first, I will start with the bottoms. And the first pair of bottoms that I pulled are basically just a pair of utility pants. And this is an item that can be dressed up or down. I think these are great for traveling. I think they can look really cool with sneakers, but also really sexy with heels. So I always have a pair of utility pants on hand no matter what season it is. The next item is a flowy midi skirt. If you aren't a midi skirt person, you could obviously do something shorter or you could do a maxi if you're more into that look. But I think a good skirt can take you such a long way, especially a printed one like this, I think is so easy to travel with. I mean, even with like a graphic t-shirt um, with sneakers, you could even do this in the fall with boots. So it is very versatile as well, depending on whatever season it is. The next bottom I have is a more, more of a dressy pair and it is just a white, wide leg cropped pant and I think this is perfect for work but again just like all of these items you can dress it down as well with sneakers and a t-shirt and it would still look great and the last bottom I have is a pair of denim shorts and I actually pulled these which are not your typical denim short you know they do have a tie they're a little bit longer but I am so not a denim short person if I'm gonna do a denim short it's going to be something like this I don't love short cutoff shorts I like more of like the longer Levi's. And I also like dressing those up as well. Tops, I have, let's see, I have four different tops. And I'll go ahead and clump these two together because they are your two basics. A white tank and a white t-shirt. And this is just an old vintage Levi's. And then this one is from Zara, just a basic white tank. Um, I think these two items are great layering items, but they can also add to, if you wanted to wear like this with a skirt and add a sneaker, or this with a skirt and add a heel. Um, you can obviously wear them by themselves, but they are amazing layering pieces. And for my two staple tops, I have something a little bit trendier. Obviously not too trendy to where you couldn't wear this next season as well, but it does have a little, a little bit more detail to it. It has some cinching on the front. It has a puff sleeve, a square neck. Uh, something that just is a little bit more detailed than just your, your regular white top. And then I pulled another classic, which is a white button down. You can wear this to work or you can add it, you know, tied in the waist with a pair of denim shorts. So I think this is another great versatile item to have that you can pair with pretty much any outfit you want. Next are my favorites and those are the dresses. I am pretty much in dresses all summer long, no matter what, I just think it's so comfortable. Like I'm in my moo right now and I am just as happy as I can be. First dress, I have this white, off the shoulder, flowy, just plain, plain dress. And the reason I pulled this one is because again, dress it up, dress it down, wear it with sneakers, wear it with heels. Um, you can pretty much wear this to any occasion. This is a good, First little dress that you can pretty much count on for any occasion that you have. The next two dresses are a little bit more detailed. So I've got this one right here and I think this is a great, kind of more of like a dressy occasion but could also be casual um, if you know you needed it to be. And then this one's kind of the same situation. This one is a little bit more trendy because it does have a cold shoulder a lot more detail to it. They both kind of serve the same purpose, they just are different. So my next item is outerwear, and I have two jackets right here because even like right now, it's like 60 something degrees today. So I would definitely be wearing a jacket or some of you guys live in places where it's colder at night. So I pulled a really lightweight, oversized blazer, and then I pulled more of a trendy kind of cropped puff sleeve jacket. So whichever your poison may be, um, I pretty much alternate between these two like 50-50. I don't have a favorite. For my accessories, I'll go ahead and start with the bags. I pulled a pouch slash clutch. I don't know why I call this a pouch because it clearly is a clutch, but I just say my pouch. 
I do wear these on casual occasions. I know when you think of clutch, you think of nighttime, dressy, but I will just, you know, have a t-shirt and sneakers and then grab this. It's not very convenient, but I just like the look of it. So always one of these because you can wear these at um, night as well. The next thing I pulled is my Palm Spring mini backpack because you can wear this crossbody. You can wear it as a backpack. It's a great travel piece. It has brown and black in it. So it pretty much goes with almost anything. And then the next bag is obviously something a little bit more carry-all and it is a woven tote of the cream variety. The reason I pulled this one and I grabbed this one is because it literally does go with everything and it's a great travel bag as well. Um, it's great for work, you can put your laptop in it and it just really adds that like summer vibe to pretty much any outfit. My last accessory is a hat and of course I'm gonna grab one of these because I mean, you can just be wearing basic denim shorts and a t-shirt and add this and it completely like transforms your whole entire outfit and you know, makes it a little bit cooler. <laughs> Lastly, moving on to the shoes and I've only got four pairs of shoes. The first pair is obviously a pair of white sneakers because I feel like you cannot go any season without a white sneaker. I just think they're a great go-to. They're comfortable, versatile, can't go wrong with the white sneaker. Secondly is a flat of some sort, a slide on. You could do, I mean, brown, black, whatever fits your color scheme in your closet. I've got these from Zara and I think they're just such a great brown color. And they kind of tie in all of my brown accessories. So I went with this one. Next two are more of a heeled sandal. And I've got this white pair from Zara that I do dress up and down. And then I've got this gold pair. And this is for when I need a statement shoe or if I need something that's not a color, just more of like a metallic. I really think shopping in your closet can save you so much time and money. And even just kind of purging the items that you no longer wear, um, I think can be really helpful doing something like this as well. Everything will be linked in the description box, um, but to make it easier on you guys, I started creating these PDFs where it basically looks like this. It has all of the photos, it has all the sizes I'm wearing, it's linked so you can shop it straight from the PDF. Um, all you have to do is put your email address in the link below and we will just send it to you via email. So much easier. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into the lookbook so you guys can see how I styled it and I hope you enjoy. It's in my birthday, yeah, cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third And the rest of it Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third And the rest of today for this video I really hope you liked it I hope you liked the outfits and I hope they weren't too repetitive you know the whole point of the video was like 
just this tiny amount of clothes you can create so many different outfits so you don't need to go buy a ton of things and as you notice just to make things a lot easier on me and for you as well when you are shopping I, I always try to stay within my my color wheel um, so as you guys can see I've got a lot of blacks browns beiges nudes denims um, so when I am shopping I really try to stay in that so I can mix and match all of my stuff I will buy the one-off like yellow or red top because obviously my color story is like so basic and so neutral um but just do keep that in mind when you're out shopping um try to stay in your in your color wheelhouse <laughs> makes things so much easier when you're getting ready Don't forget to sign up for the lbh magazine i will put kind of like what the magazine looks like right here but the magazine is going to be back to 100 percent fashion we kind of did have a lot of other things like beauty and skincare and all of this other stuff, but it is going to be back to fashion, how it used to be, um, the way you guys loved it, and it's gonna be open all the time now. I know signups were only like a couple of days out of the month, but now it's gonna be 24 seven um, because we have more help now, so we can um, cater to all of you guys for customer service, so um, the link will be in the description box below. We'll get you in there and we'll get you in the Facebook group. Even if you sign up like today, it'll be open for you um, and you can get the magazine, so that's exciting. But I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to sign up for the magazine and download the PDF. Huge lifesaver. I'll see you guys later, bye.